Good morning, students. Let us understand projections of point. My name is Professor Ajay Kale, Associate Professor in Mechanical Department, Vishwakarma Institute of Information Technology, Pune. We know that space is divided in four different quadrants: first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth. Quadrant. to get the knowledge of first quadrant let us see the position of horizontal plane as well as the frontal plane means vertical plane right profile plane and left profile plane imagine point p is in the first quadrant and all these planes are transparent point in the first quad let us see this point p which is 40 mm in front of vp in front of vp 50 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of left profile plane and we want to draw the projection of this point p pictorial or two dimensional view of the space showing all the four quadrant is drawn here this is the horizontal plane where we get the top view this is the vertical plane where we get the front view and this is the position of the observer and the point or object is in between the observer and the front or the horizontal plane as per the first angle method of projection this three dimensional pictorial view we can represent in two dimensional way by drawing horizontal plane as one line vertical plane as one line and then intersection of vertical plane and the horizontal plane will be line xy which will be represented as point in the two dimensional drawing this is the position of observer first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant please understand the reference planes horizontal plane and vertical plane all four quadrants by understanding the position of the observer in first angle method of projection if if we see that this is the object and we want to observe it from the front view as well as top view and side view then in the front view the projection lines are to be drawn perpendicular to the observer position on the vertical plane we call that drawing as front view similarly for the top view we have to represent it on horizontal plane and for the side view we have to project it on the profile plane where we can get the side view of the object but to represent a point on the two dimensional paper we have to understand that what is the distance of the point with respect to hp and with respect to vp the distance with respect to hp will be reflected on vertical plane that means vertical plane is the space above xy line whereas the distance of point a in front of the vertical plane will be shown in the top view by marking it small a and its position with respect to xy is nothing but how far that point is in front of the vp please try to understand 
elevation or front view is seen on vertical plane but position of point with respect to vertical plane is seen only in the plan or top view plan or top view is seen on hp that is horizontal plane but position of point with respect to hp is seen only in elevation or front view there is a convention to draw the projection of point top views are represented by the small letter a and the front view or elevation is conventionally represented by a small letter with dash that is a dash and if it is a profile or side view then it is again represented by small letters with double dash this is the convention we are going to follow throughout the course there are ready made videos are also available to understand the projection of point those are available on the youtube you can refer those also now these are the problems where the point is located in the first quadrant and we have to draw the projections for that for example point p is 30 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of vp try to draw the projections of these four problems a b c and d 20% of projections of line problem is solved by using correct understanding of projections of point let us see the various positions of a in the first quadrant suppose point a is above hp and in front of vp that means shown in this particular pictorial view this is a pictorial or three dimensional view but to draw the projection of this point a we have to draw the xy line understand the position with respect to hp then you have to draw the locus of a dash then understand the position of a with respect to vp then draw the locus of a in the plan and then you know that these a dash and a will lie on the vertical projector if point a is above hp but in vp see this particular position a is in vp this is the pictorial view the projection of point a for this condition will be shown like this one you have to draw again xy line the space above is vertical plane the space below is horizontal plane because a is on vp the locus of a dash will come you have to mark a dash first how far it is above hp and if you see it from the top view the projection of the top view of point a will lie on xy line similarly the third condition if point a is in hp and in front of vp that means a is in horizontal plane how to draw the projection this is the pictorial view again you have to draw the xy line then how far this point a is in front of vp will be seen only in the top view therefore understand this distance draw the locus on that locus mark point a then draw the vertical projector because point a is on hp a dash its front view projection will come on the xy line basic concepts to draw the projection of point front view and top view of a point always lie in the same vertical line called projector front view or elevation of point p is represented by p dash it shows position of point with respect to hp if the point lies above hp p dash lies above xy line if the point lies in 
horizontal plane then p dash lies on xy line top view or plan projection of point p is represented by small p without dash it shows position of point with respect to vp if the point lies in front of vp p lies below xy line if the point lies in the vp then p lies on the that means projection of point in the plan lies on the xy line draw the projections of the point point p is 25 mm above hp and 35 mm behind vp first you have to understand the location of point p whether it is in first second third or fourth quadrant in this particular course we have to understand the projection of points only in the first quadrant again i will repeat the important point we understand in the projection of points elevation or front view is seen on vertical plane but position of point with respect to vp is seen only in the plan or top view students should also remember that plan or top view is seen on hp but position of point with respect to hp is seen only in the elevation or front view there is the convention to draw this one let us understand the point a is in first quadrant and therefore its front view will come as a dash in vertical plane and a will come on the hp now by convention on this xy line you have to rotate this horizontal plane in the 90 degree so that you can draw the three dimensional view in this way it is shown it here that is a dash above hp because above xy is the vertical plane and the projection of point on horizontal plane that is a will come on the on below xy line and then a dash and a of course should come in the one line we have to see this first quadrant in detail because in projection of line most of the points in this particular course are given in the first quadrant itself similarly we can draw the projection in second as well as in the fourth quadrant few numericals are given in the reference book exercise number 9 nd bhat page 1993 try to solve these problems 1 2 3 and 5 thank you very much